Hello everyone, my name is Yana Baturina. I am a teacher of English. I'm from Russia City, Novosibirsk, which is in Siberia. I've been teaching for about 12 years and I would like to thank everyone who gave us such opportunity to enter this great competition and uh, hope to win, of course. Okay, so let's go for the questions. Uh, how do you inspire your students? Uh, I believe in motivated teachers. <laughs> if the, teach the more motivated the teacher is, uh, the more motivated his or her students are. And I, I try to be uh, quite inspiring as well as encouraging my students and praising them every lesson. So I do believe, and they like it really much, uh, that uh, when I, uh, I don't know, use some interactive things, yes, I like playing games on the lesson. And uh, I, as I usually say, ball, walls and floor are my best friends on the on the lesson. Yes, because I try to uh, vary all the tasks and exercises uh, for students of different learning styles, uh, of different intelligences that they have. I usually uh, take a test at the start of the year uh, where they, uh, where they, I check whether what learning style they have, uh, auditory, kinesthetic or visual as well. Yeah, and uh, also I check the intelligences that they acquire and uh, so uh, by this, yes, I try uh, to vary the exercises and tasks during my working year in order to uh, get the best of the task, yes, and to get the best of knowledge for my students, of course, so that they require, well, well they will require more information. Um, also, uh, as for the personalized task, I usually uh, try to uh, use some inspiring things for them, uh, something that will be of their interest, yes, not that the scientific text, which I like, yes, but something that they would be in love with, maybe something connected to their generation and so on. For question number two, what are your greatest achievements? I will never say these are my achievements. I always say that, that these are my students' achievements and I do believe in them and I'm proud of them so much that uh, every time when they, the very moment when they enter the classroom and they start speaking English, maybe I am kind of a trigger for them, but you know, when they go in the street and my parents come to me, uh, their parents, sorry, come to me and they say, you know, that uh, they are you know, named something in the shop and I feel so proud when they win the Olympiad, I'm so proud of them and I always praise them a lot and I, I feel that they need that. So my students are the talented, amazing people who teach me a lot and I'm grateful for having them and being uh, to have the chance to work with them. Thank you so much for your attention.